In today's GoPro tips and tricks video, we're going to be making a lighting rig for our GoPro camera. This setup is going to allow us to film in low light situations and bring our own lighting into dark places. Say you want to film underwater and you want to make sure that you've got really nice lighting on what you're shooting, a rig like this would be exactly what you need. We're gonna build the rig at a half inch PVC, a GoPro tripod mount, and hose clamps. The critical piece of this mount is the flashlights. Now, I've decided to use Duracell 300 lumens flashlights. The reason for this was I was able to pick them up for really cheap, and they're fairly durable, durable and water resistant. Now, if you're gonna be making a diving rig that you wanna take and your sole purpose for it is to take it underwater and go diving with it, you're gonna to wanna to use some waterproof flashlights. For my purposes, these are water resistant, weather resistant. Um, they're gonna be okay if they break snorkeling, that's a risk I was taking with them, but they're cheap enough that I don't really care and I don't plan to use this mount enough to warrant the investment in high-end waterproof underwater lights. In terms of PVC fittings, we're gonna need two right angle joints, two caps, three pieces of half inch PVC cut down to three inches, and two large-ish hose clamps. The assembly process is gonna go basically just like this. We're gonna take the three inch pieces and stick them into one L joint, stick another L joint onto that one, stick the last piece of PVC into the pipe, make sure all the fittings are secure, and then put the two end caps on to the setup. If you would like, at this point, you could put PVC cement into all of the joints to make them permanent. It's now time to attach our camera, so we're gonna get, drill a quarter inch hole right to the top of the center piece of PVC right here. We're then gonna flip the mount over and drill a larger hole at the same spot on the bottom. The reason for drilling that larger hole in the bottom was it will allow the head of our bolt to pass through it. So we can now get our screwdriver and our bolt and pass that through the bottom, through the bottom larger hole and out the smaller top hole. We can then get our GoPro tripod mount and thread that on top of our bolt. It's now time to attach our flashlight. So depending on your flashlight size, you'll have to pick the appropriate sized hose clamp. Once we've got our appropriate size hose clamp, we're gonna line our flashlight up on the bottom of our mount and then pass the hose clamp over top of both of them, tightening it down and our flashlight is attached. Now, if you wanted to use multiple hose clamps, you could do that for a more secure connection. We will repeat that for the other side. With that, our lighting mount is almost complete. The last step is to throw on our GoPro and then test it out. As you can see from the test footage, it does create a lot more light in the shot. Now, the beams of these flashlights are quite focused, so it does give the appearance of almost car headlights in the test shot. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it is a style of lighting. You could get a wider angle flashlight that would create a lot more um, kind of even overall lighting. These are definitely spot oriented lights. This is a really cool little mount and it could be used in a whole bunch of different situations. You could use this to just add more light to a shot or if you were diving and wanted a way to light up the objects in front of you really clearly with really nice light, you could use a mount just like this. The two beams line up very, very nicely and while they do give the appearance slightly of car headlights, they do add a lot more light into the shot. Guys, I think this is a really awesome looking little DIY project. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about it. And if you'd like to see more DIY projects like this, uh, make sure you like the video and subscribe. If you guys want to see lots more DIY projects that I've already done, check out my GoPro YouTube channel. And there's a shelf there on the channel page with all of the DIY mounts laid out. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching.